guys, you know what? I think we need to start with a couple of deep breaths, just some meditation before we start because, and fans and listeners need to join in because otherwise this whole ship will explode right now. The tensions in the EuroLeague at this moment after yesterday's games are at the highest level. We thought maybe after game one, we had the most noise ever, but mm. that's, that's I think, topping it. Uh, what happened last night uh, with both Greek teams losing, being the betting favorites, losing uh, both games, and both games had a lot of controversy at the end of the game. Uh, this is a special Q&A episode for our BM Plus subscribers. So we'll talk about both games, Panaikos and Maccabi, plus uh, Olympiakos and Barcelona. And then we'll we'll move on to our subscribers' questions. Uh, but first, we got to start with these games. Uh, how are you feeling, guys, after l last night's games? I'm shocked, honestly, about the results of yesterday. I did not expect that. But uh, at the same time, uh, re-watching the games, uh, I understood why these things happened. And uh, I'm sad, once again, that everybody's talking about the refs and not, and not the, the actual game. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have to start talking about those uh, last second plays that happened, right? Mm -hmm. That's where we're going to start from. Uh, there are many angles we're going to touch on, obviously. Uh, the actual game, the fans in, in, in Belgrade that were quite a surprise for me that they were let in. Uh, but yes, that's that's the main hottest topic are the crucial calls at the end of the game, uh, starting with, we have four key moments that I uh, wrote down. So with one minute left, uh, this is the episode that got uh, Pantnekos owner Dimitri Sianakopoulos the most uh, furious, uh, well, maybe let's say both episodes did, but this one, he went on the stories with screenshots of Josh Nebo stepping on the, on the baseline, <clears throat> sorry, on the baseline. And then, uh, the Maccabi kept the ball and, uh, didn't score, but, but that was one of those moments. Uh, then we had another moment, probably the biggest moment of the game, Lorenzo Brown penetrating, uh, going for a layup but it was blocked by uh, Lazord, and uh, that was ruled as a goaltending uh, and then overruled after the um, right. yeah after the replays uh, to be a jump ball because nobody took the possession of the ball and after that we saw uh, Jerry and Grant fouling uh, Lorenzo Brown on a jump shot which basically decided the, the game and finally Kendrick Nunn got off a shot uh, against Nebo uh, from the wing, and uh, that was a very tough contested shot that he missed. And Maccabi came out with the victory. So all of this is a lot to talk about. I don't know where we start, but Augustus, maybe you want to... Go, frame, you, by frame. Go <laughs> frame by frame. Go frame, frame by frame. Frame by frame. Yeah. Uh, first of all, it doesn't really matter probably what we say here. Uh, we already know the comments that are going to be under this. So uh, I'm just going to say this. Uh, there was a clear, of course, uh, uh, tur turnover by the mistake by the refs when Josh Nebo stepped out. Uh, that should have been a punt and I caused ball immediately. But at the same time, they got the ball back five seconds later. And uh, they, like, Costas Lucas had a two on one with uh, Matias Lesor. So this is, this is, of course, a mistake. Yep. I mean, he's, he's going back. You need to have two foot uh, back before you touch the ball. No, no, but he didn't touch the ball. Here's the mistake. Here's the mistake. He, his heel touches the line after he go, goes in the court. Because when he was outside of the court, he wasn't touching the ball. Here. I know, oh. but you need to have two foot back before you... Uh, yeah. You can't jump out and take the ball immediately. He, he didn't. He didn't. Look, he, did, he, he only touched the ball when he was already back in with both feet. But then... He steps with his heel. Well, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Just, it's just out of bounds. It's a mistake. It's a missed Anyways, out of bounds ball. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's a mistake. But like I'm, 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 what, I, what I said before, Powell mm -hmm. got the ball back like five seconds later. Maccabi didn't score. Pernodengos actually had a two-on-one opportunity and Matias Lazor got fouled there. So it's not like it changed the game that much. I mean, and uh, later, why do you need... Uh, 
why do you need why Duran Grant goes for that steal, goes for that foul? Absolutely stupid decision. I mean, we are talking about him like uh defensive player of the year, and he's been great, but why do you need to go for such a harsh steal in the end, just going for the ball with one second remaining? Lorenzo Brown is about to shoot yeah. uh, behind the back, pull up three pointer, and I know that's a clear this foul. A clear you foul. can't say anything here. This one I mean, is. I think nobody's uh, discussing this too much. It's a clear I, foul. I was. I was at, when I saw this. I was I absolutely. I was absolutely yeah. shocked mm -hmm. why he did that. But this is probably his defensive instinct, like you said before the podcast, that he has uh, gotten away with a lot of steals that way. But it's just a mental mistake. I think, right yeah, there. like you have to realize it's the last seconds of the game, so you cannot afford any risks. But this is actually after one of the other uh, okay. controversial calls so, that uh, Augustus skipped over. Can I can I get to that, yeah, that one? Yeah, sure. Uh, so we have the video review system, which is good because in other case, we would be living with the referee's mistake uh, to call it goaltending mm -hmm. uh, because they counted the basket. Mm -hmm. uh, and after the reviews, you could see that Lazor Touched was right on time to block the shot. To basically stick the ball to the to the board yeah so yeah once again another replay you can see that the ball changes yeah its so speed. it's a good block and it's a good thing that the that it was reviewable so the refs uh overturned their decision yeah now there's that fuss about why Panathinaikos didn't get the ball so here's the thing so Maccabi players react to what the officials are calling so they immediately called a two-point basket. Mm -hmm. So of course no one's fighting for the rebound. So the refs cannot be 100% sure who's getting the possession there. It's nobody's ball. So the only way to solve this is, is a jump ball. I don't see what all the fuss is about. Like, it's not just is, Maccabi players. Uh, but the players are not fighting no, for that ball. No, no one is, is fighting for a rebound. You cannot know whether it would be Mitoglu or Rivero to get the ball actually so it's just a loose ball so mm -hmm. the only way I to solve this is, is a jump ball i'm sorry but is anyone protesting about this no, no no I, I don't think they are what about the, this jump they ball? are oh about jump ball yes the jump y yes ball is, there uh, are there are a the lot official... of people i saw a lot of comments yeah. saying that panathinaikos should get the ball in this in in, in this situation <laughs> or or maccabi should have uh however many seconds were left i think 3.8 if you look at the shot clock there but the yeah. ball then yeah, the ball is touches the rim after after the block uh, does it or just? I think. Oh yeah, it does. I think it does. It does. It does. It does. So it touches. So it. it would be. So then no. I, no 3.8 seconds. It would be the. It's complicated. It I'm would, really surprised, guys. Anyone really is uh, like protesting because of this. I I can understand the Nebo mistake. So uh, that was a that was a mistake. But this one. That was a mistake. There's no mistake here. The, yeah. the only mistake was to count the basket, mm -hmm. and they overturned they the decision. It. Right. Uh, so yeah, there's a jump ball. Maccabi won the jump ball. It's all fair and square. And, it's then, logical, and, then, and, but and then we went all the way to, to the last play where Lorenzo Brown was actually fouled. So mm -hmm. the only issue is that Nebo stepped out of bounds. But as you explained, it didn't change the ending that much because Maccabi didn't score from that play. Mm, so focusing on officials under all these circumstances is just not fair. You're just omitting 40 minutes of basketball and what happened during, during that game. And you just focus on one single moment where Josh Nebo stepped out of bounds and it wasn't given. Mm -hmm. this and, is, yeah, do you have anything to add about referees? Uh, I was just going to talk about the protest, but go on. I, I, I want to say, talk about I, the game. I want to say one more thing about, because we analyzed this whole sequence, mm -hmm. basically the last minute of the game. Did it seem to you that Lorenzo Brown tried to miss the second free throw on yes, purpose. Yes, yes, that's another thing I, I wanted to talk about. Because you reminded now, there were like two point four seconds on the clock. But they yes. still have a timeout. Lorenzo Brown makes the first free throw. Then he shoots. And the way he the the arc, mm -hmm. the way he shot the second, it seemed like he wanted to miss it on purpose. And the most telling uh, thing about it was his reaction afterwards. Yeah. He just goes. Oh. Like it just shows see, that sometimes see. it's 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 tough to miss mm -hmm. on purpose. Although we will talk about the other game where where there's a guy who <laughs> showed an example how you miss a free throw on purpose. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know, guys. It's just to me once again, uh, 
We are talking about referees and their decisions, and Panathinaikos fans are unhappy because they think they lost because of the referees, their team did everything right, but uh, at the same time, Maccabi, without Wade Baldwin, dominated yeah. this game. Before, before, just, uh, before we get into actual, the actual game, a quick shout out to our Give Me Control uh, series where Donato Surbanas and the former referee Todd Warning actually went over all of these controversial calls. And the expert opinion is there. Subscribe to BM Plus and make sure you check that out because this is top top level material that we're delivering. See, this with is that. smart. You're not giving away the conclusions. You're just saying that well, there's expert opinion. You have there. to go there and watch yeah, it. Yeah, well, you know. I mean, I understand in other, in other countries that uh, paid content is not uh, common yet. And people are criticizing us in the comments for, for no reason, I believe. But understand, this is our job. This is not a hobby here. So anyways, Augustus, go on. What did you see in this game? What kind of adjustments did you see from game one and two? And so on. Let me have this rant, okay, now. It's going to take, I think, Go. about three minutes. Go for three three minutes? That's a lot of minutes. Man, I'm just, uh, <laughs> I'm fuming because everybody talks about uh, referees and how Panathinaikos lost because of the referees, but it's not. It's simple. Their coach has not done a good enough job in this series. For, to me, that's simple. There, were, there have been no adjustments from him in 120 minutes and everybody's talking about the referees in Euroleague Mafia. Guys, this was just a short preview of the full Q&A podcast. If you want to see that, you need to subscribe to BM Plus at basketnews.com slash plus. In this episode, we discussed in full detail the Maccabi Panathinaikos game three, also predicted how the series will end and also talked about Olympiacos in Barcelona, obviously, and answered all the questions from our BM Plus subscribers. See you at BM Plus.